Shapes and Angles Part 4. Let's look at some worked examples of angle problems. Example 1. Find all non-reflex angles. So non-reflex angles are angles that are less than 180 degrees. So we're given an angle here of 115 degrees. We've got two parallel lines and we've got uh, a straight line that cuts through them. So what we can see is this angle here is the alternate of this angle. And this angle here is the corresponding angle of this angle here. So let's go for this. This angle will be the same as this one, which is 115 degrees. And it will be the same as this one, which is also 115 degrees. And we can see that these two are vertically opposite. And now we just have to get the two angles here. So because this angle 115 degrees is on a straight line with this, this angle, these two angles together will be 180 degrees. So this angle must be 65 degrees. And because that's vertically opposite this angle, this angle will also be 65 degrees. Okay, so example two is a bit of a tricky one, but let's take this slowly. Find all non-reflex angles of this here. So it's quite a complex shape. So let's start in the bottom left corner. We're given 120 degrees here. And this angle is vertically opposite this. So this angle will be the same, which is 120 degrees. This is on a straight line with this 120 degree angle. So it must add up to 180. So this must be 60 degrees. That's vertically opposite this. So that also must be 60. And now what you can see is we've got two parallel lines here and we've got a straight line that joins them. So we have alternate and corresponding angles. So all of these will be the same as all of these four angles here. Okay, now we have a Z shape. So we've got alternate angles. We've got two parallel lines here and we've got a diagonal line. So this angle will be equal to this angle as they are alternate angles. Let's now go up to this 100 degrees and we'll apply the same process. This is vertically opposite this angle, so that'll be 100. This is on the straight line with this angle, so this angle must be 80 degrees. And so must this one. Because these two straight lines are parallel and we've got this straight line cutting through them, we've got corresponding and alternate angles here. So we can copy all of these and put them here as these four angles will be the same. And we're almost there. We've just got one more angle to look at and it's this angle here. And this is where we apply our knowledge of triangles because these three sides and these three angles form a triangle. So this angle must be whatever's left from 180 minus 100 minus 60 so this must be 20 degrees. And as a sanity check here, we can also see we've got a quadrilateral in the middle portion because we've got four sides and all angles in a quadrilateral must add up to 360. So do all angles inside this quadrilateral add up to 360? 120 plus 60, 180 plus 100 plus 80. Yes, they do. So we can be fairly confident that this is correct.